everyone, it's Lainey. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. This is gonna be a haul and card. I ordered this stuff from Concord and 9th, their day of their warehouse sale, which was June 9th. I just received it today and it is June 20th. So I was anxiously and trying to be patient to wait for this to finally come in. I only know what the first three things are. I stopped looking and just decided to press record. Super, super excited. Alrighty, so a knitting together stamp set, and I really liked the borders there, and it's just got some good sentiments on it. Great job, love ya, hi friend, you're the best, it's your birthday, have a ball. It's really cute, and then I have Happy Thanks stamp set, which is a very good stamp set to have. And we've got the thanks die, the big thanks. I have been so excited about this thanks. I really like the alignment of the text. So super excited to use this. And we have all the love dies. So I have a nice heart, two hearts actually. Some X's and O's, love ya or love you. And just a love die. And the love has the stitching, which is a really nice change. I don't know why I keep turning it around. I feel like I'm like looking for a, an image of a card or something, but yeah, I feel like um, a lot of these can be used for multiple things, not just seasonal. Then I found this plaid card front die, which is super nice. I can just use the, you know, the cutouts or the, um, the plaid itself I was looking online at different ways to use this and this is a really neat a really neat card front die also purchased their rainbow die and this is really really large I wasn't expecting it to be that large but I will make it work okay what is this um, love you and matter. So what does it say? Simply you dies. So it has a really, oh, I've been wanting something like that. I didn't even realize. Okay. So it, this is a really nice die here to cut down your panels. And then it just has some text and it says you love and matter. Oh, here pictures. How cute really loved that scalloped edge and it's stitched as well and if you don't care about this just fast forward and get to the card okay positively cut so another card front die oh and then I have the stitched ones so I have both of these which is super nice and I guess I could use them together or separately, obviously, but that would be neat. I wonder if you can see the stitched through the die cut out. If you can, you could definitely use these together just to elevate your panel uh, and really change it up. So then I have a stitched polka dot card front. I was really interested in these because this is kind of like an embossing folder, super universal just to elevate your card. In, in a very simple and subtle way. Okay, this is Just Amazing Dies. And here we got pictures just for you and you are amazing. And it has the shadow layer that you can use as well if you would like. And those are really big. So this is a holiday one, snowfall card front. And, you know, we will have Christmas in July, so be on the lookout for that. And exclamation dies. So let's see here. Let's celebrate. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And, yeah, I like the change up of the font style there. And a big exclamation point. You did it and some stars, a megaphone as well. Okay, Everyday Sayings dies. Oh, I've been wanting this one forever. Amazon had a dupe for it and they were actually using Concord and Ninth imagery. And I purchased the Concord and Ninth one because it's on sale. Um, 
but here we've got so grateful and friend in a script hello and then the shadow layer for the hello hi which is a stitched die and then the little i'll be there for you um kind of banner dies there and more hearts which is nice to have okay a quirky strip stencil so what this is is just um strips but they're not even it's just kind of random okay and then the quintessential scripty sayings dies and once again these are super large so it comes with these here hello there friend for you and the knitting together super excited about this this is an older one from well most of the stuff is really because it was on sale but um little fact about me when COVID hit I started with cross stitch and then I moved to crochet and then I moved to embroidery so I love a little needlework I am not a knitter I am a crocheter but it is yarn um, and needlework as I say so super excited about that and love that it has the scissors and um, an additional text there and the little buttons love 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 the variety here and lastly from Concord and Ninth, Happy Thanks Dies. And it just says thank you and oh happy day. And these are humongous. I did not realize those were that big. That is, man, like four inches wide. Especially if you use the shadow layer, really, really large. Okay, so this is all from Concord and Ninth. I have some other stuff set aside, some kind of Concord and Knife, but it didn't come in this box. So let me pull that real quick to show you that as well. All right, this is the rest of it. And I actually have one other thing arriving tomorrow and it's Lawn Fawn, but I have the, this is an older one from Concord and Knife, the Spectacular Shades stamp set, super cute. I love glasses, I used to sell glasses, so. This is my style, 100%. And I also have the short and sweet dies. And these are perfect, especially because they are on a smaller scale. Um, so sorry, congrats, hugs, oh happy day, get well soon, miss you, love you, here for you, hello, thanks, miss you. These are going to be perfect for all year round. And now for some Lawn Fawn stuff. I actually played with this and made a complete card. It is so cute. I'm going to remake it for you guys. I'm thinking about doing it next month for Christmas in July. Super, super cute. It is called Snow One Like You. And it's got like a little rabbit and a bear on a, on a little um, sled and the coordinating dies. And, you know, it's got the sentiment right there. This was so fun to color. And I have the grassy hillsides. These were quite a bit smaller than I anticipated, but it will work 100%. I really like Lawn Fawn. Not only do I like their stamps um, and for coloring purposes, I really like how they present their cards for, for us, the consumer, um, and with their card build. So that's what I'm trying to do is just really build up my collection so I can create like busier scenes for for with lawn fawn products if that makes sense if um if you've seen lawn fawn cards from their website you'll know what i mean by the scene building cards but i definitely want to get into that in the future just need to build my collection a little more so added that to my collection i purchased this thinking of you and it's just a horizontal die oh and um some of these are from Amazon and the others are from scrapbook.com. Like I said, building my collection, I've got the corner rainbow stencil. So it's two stencils of, I put these in the wrong thing. I was playing with them already. Okay. So we've got the cloud stencils, which there's two of them. If you want to overlay them, if you, you know, want, or you can just use one at a time. And then I have the rainbow stencil. So it's two rainbows, uh, a bigger one and a small one, and then a sun. And I forgot one, one other um, new purchase. One second. 
Okay, so I'm playing with this one as well, but very new to me. It is My Rainbow, so it's got the cute little um, unicorn and the little fairy, and it just says, You are my rainbow on a cloudy day, and I have the coordinating dies as well. I've made a couple of cards with this that I haven't finalized because I just felt like I needed more um, accessory, so that's why I purchased the clouds and the rainbows and, stu and such. So, trying to get my mind around that one. Okay, this is Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. What am I doing? <laughs> Turning it around. Um, just because and on your birthday, many thanks and from, from me to you. And I really liked this big stamp here. I thought that it would be really nice and fun to emboss that for the panel. So, and it's got the opening right there. All right, more from scrapbook.com, mini heart stencils. I have very similar to what I just ordered from Concord and Ninth, the um, stripes, but they are different. As you can see there, we've got some thick and then thinner ones, and the other one are just um, not straight lines. Again, preparing for Christmas, snowy pine tree stencil from Waffle Flower, along with these little snowflakes as well. Another heart stencil, and what is this? The mermaid scales. I found this on uh, Amazon, and it is Spellbinders Christmas uh, stencils, and it is what is it called? The snowflake ornaments. So, really um, excited to break this out and play with this for that time of the year. This one I've been eyeing for quite some time. Again, this is from Amazon, the Delicate Floral Hummingbirds. This is an older uh, die from Spellbinders, but it is absolutely stunning. And I really wanted it because it had the hummingbirds along with the greenery. I wanted to use the birds um, by themselves, not necessarily with this whole scene, but it is a very huge die. Super, super cute. Alrighty, so not going to use any of these products in front of us. I also um, added some more Concord and Neat ink to my collection along with some refills, but we won't get into that today. This has already taken up too much time, so let's go ahead and start building a card. So the die that I'm going to be using today is from Sissix, and it is... I don't know what it's called, but it's a very summary by Lisa Jones. I purchased this on sale last year from Hobby Lobby and hadn't used it yet. And these are the dies. But as you can see, there's a variety of things here. And we're just going to build a little scene with some of these elements. So first things first, we are going to do some ink blending. But I need to go ahead and bring in my paper trimmer and cut down my panel. So this is a typical... Um, kind of uneven, an A2 size, which is roughly four and a quarter by five and a half. And I say roughly just because it seems a little crooked. So let's go ahead and make that even. And I cannot recall. I'm going to cut this down at four and three quarters. And we will cut this one down at three and a half. I think that might be too small. Let me see. Nope, that's perfect. Alrighty. And I'll just use these for something else. This is my card base that I'll need to fold in a little bit. So now I'm just going to take my mint tape, which is really low tack from scrapbook.com and just line it up straight here on the panel. I do know that I want my sentiment down here at the bottom. Um, let me... So the only text on here says is summer, so I'm going to use that. Okay, and... Got the Joe. I'll do that, and then I want the sun. And I was originally wanting to do the bird, but we are going to change it up a bit. So if, let me just 
trying to make sure that the placement is good. So it's going to look something like this. All right, bringing in my Spellbinders magnet and just going to set what I'm going to be using today to the side. Let's tape the panel down to the glass mat so it's not shifting. And I'm going to be using Tim Holtz Distress Ink Salty Ocean. It's a beautiful color. And kind of just tap off some of that excess there. And I'm going to start kind of on the mint tape and then work my way up. Leaving a bit of a margin on the left and the right side of the panel. I want that to be white space. So this is very similar to what I just did with my last card, the cupcake card. I really like, I really liked how that turned out. So we're going to try it again with some dies instead of a stamp. Okay, and then just fan it out and try to smooth it out as well, but I want it to be a gradient. Okay, I think that that is going to be enough. So let's remove the mint tape and check this out real quick. Perfect. And that is our panel trimmed down to size already in a little bit of the ink blending. Now for the die cutting here, I'm going to be using my mini today and I pulled some cardstock. Right now we're going to be using pink lemonade and ballet slipper for the flamingo. And I'm just going to use this mint tape again and let's cut out the flamingo. And I guess I can go ahead and trim this excess cardstock off put that back in my scraps. Okay, and I'm going to be taking parsley and let's cut out top of the tree, the palm. And tape that down as well. All right, so now I'm just going to run these through, trying to make, trying to get that tree back on there. Okay. So we have part of the tree right there and to add a little bit of variety and contrast, I'm going to cut out the top of the tree again and sprout, which is honestly like my favorite color from Concord and Night. Okay, line that up, make sure it's all gonna get cut out there. Okay, and the flamingo is cut out, but now we need these two other pieces, um, which is the beak. So that's why I have the ballet slipper pulled because I'm going to do a two-toned. So I want to use this lighter pink here. And let's tape it down so it doesn't shift. Okay, and I'm just going to keep running the dies through until I have all the cutouts that I need. Last little piece here. And it is just a little detail for the sun. And it's just a little swirl. Okay, so let's move this aside. And bring in all the little elements here and you can already tell that these colors are pairing great together it feels like summer with the color palette all right moving the elements off of my panel and now we are going to um, work on the flamingo first because it's got some little parts that need to be glued down 
So I'm going to take my Barely Art glue and just apply a little bit on the beak itself. Oop, a little too much. And like I said, I used ballet slipper for part of the beak. And just position that in place. It's supposed to go all the way down. Okay. Like that. If you can see the difference in color. And then I used mushroom just for the end of the beak there. And I think it goes like this. Okay, let me turn this around. Okay, and that is the little cutie there. So let's move that aside. And now let's put together our palm tree. And palm tree is cut out of nutmeg here, the brown, and then parsley and sprout. And I wanted to have one of these act as kind of like a shadow layer. Let's see. Something like that. And yeah, okay. So let me... I guess glue the darker one on. I'll just put a little bit at the point of the trunk. Uh oh. All right, perfect. And now taking the other layer in sprout and I guess I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the darker the parsley just like so and then hmm okay sticking it together and then I'm going to shift it a bit so that darker just pops through How cute. Okay, and we've got the sun, and I just realized that I did not cut out the summer dye. Just very little glue on here. Oh, and I lied earlier when I was saying, oh goodness gracious, that would not come apart. When I said Sprout was my favorite, my other favorite is Buttercup. Love Buttercup. All right, so this is Buttercup and Sunflower. And now let's just move this stuff aside here and bring in our panel. And now we can get this stuff glued down. First, I want to, I probably should cut out the summer. I was thinking about doing it in buttercup as well, just so it was kind of balanced and still bright. Yeah, let me go ahead and cut out the little die in the summer and then we will finalize all these little pieces. All right, so it looks like, you know, it's a script font, but the, the S to the summer is not attached. Let me see if I can poke that out of the die. Okay, so now we have the summer. And it's going to be kind of difficult to get that straight and even, but just something like that. All right. So let's just make sure. I want to make sure that the flamingo and the palm tree are a little below that ink blending line to interact with the rest of the card. But I want them to just be barely kind of 
um, interacting with the white space, but also I want that to be, um, I want them to be even as well. So let's go ahead and glue down the tree. I'm going to just use my liquid glue again. Need to shift this a bit. Okay. Making sure that placement is correct. Okay. I shifted it down just a bit and go, go ahead and glue down the sun. And now for the flamingo, I'm going to elevate it a little bit. So I've got these pop dots from Dollar Tree. So I'm just gonna place them around. And I have some in half for the neck, the face and the neck. I think I need to cut another one in half and take the smaller of the half there. Okay. And again, just for the beak, let's see if that is going to work. I think so. All right. Now just have to remove the backers. Okay. And let me use my tweezers for this. And remember just trying to make sure that the flamingo and the base of the tree are pretty much the same. And I think I kind of went too low on the flamingo, but it's, it's there now. It's permanent. And now let's play with the summer. Okay. I'm going to start with this part and add just a faint bit of glue. Okay, and then now clean off my tweezers and now let's add a little glue to the S here. Scooch it over. Okay, so I've got like glue residue on my panel, which is driving me nuts. Um, just need to maybe get my residue eraser and clean up some of these areas, but this is the panel. Super simple, but just really bringing it to life with the colors. And I feel like the ink blending was perfect for this little scene. So. Now, let's build up this panel. This foam tape, I went to Hobby Lobby today, picked up some stuff, and this is two millimeters thick. So now I know how thick it is because that's what I wanted to know so I can order it, you know, in a, like a big roll. But I did purchase some more from Hobby Lobby today. Make some room, bring in our card base, which once it's folded, it is a true A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. 
and I'm just giving it that crease that it needs and now let's open this guy up and magnetize it down. I need to clean my glass mat. Just got glue everywhere. Alrighty. And sorry if my head is in the way. Give me a moment. Okay. I'm loving this margin. I'm loving my new um, cutting or measurements for my panel. I, I'm really liking working with a smaller panel because I just love love the dimension that I put, use on my panel and then the the border. I think it looks so good. So I'm going to be using the dew drops, but I did have yellow sequins that I pulled, but they're just all the same size, but it's so pretty, kind of like an iridescent as well. Um, I wanted those to work, but it would just be way too much. So let's try to find a small one. Maybe a medium one there. And I'm just kind of trying to use the dewdrops to kind of bring everything together. Um, I don't know if that is going to be successful, but um, that is my intention. So we've got two here, one there, and we need, I feel like we need something up here. Grabbing another small one. Hmm. I don't really like that. I'm gonna play with another one. I don't know, this one's kind of um, tricky for me. So I'll just make them permanent, you know. Only I'm using three smalls and then um, one is the one size up from the small. There's four sizes in this pack from Amazon. Okay, and I think that's it guys. That is the finished card. Super quick and simple. And like I said, just building an easy scene. You know, it would be lovely if I had some kind of waves to add to this, whether it was a stencil or a die, and I didn't. So I thought, you know what, we'll just add some blue because I want that element for the card and just kind of make like a blue background. Like it's like kind of like the sky and the water mixed in together. And you can see the finalization of the dew drops. I think adding some dimension to the flamingo was a perfect touch. And yeah, I just love this card. I will list all the colors from Concord and Ninth, uh, the cardstock that I used today, in case you're curious. And give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everyone.